Sam Penix, uh, he's a, uh, it did this draft. He has come on my show quite a few times. I have a good relationship with Sam. He's very, very smart and has a good grasp on how the, uh, the front office operates. You know, this is the kind of maneuvers that we see this front office make all the time, you know, up a few, back a few, gain value where they can. Um, and he, in this mock draft, he does a lot of that maneuvering, right? So, um, and he ends up with Sky Moore, who I think is a great fit um, for this offense. Uh, if he's there, I think he fits really well. Um, his, uh, you know, agility in, in short spaces and, and uh, the ability to get open at all three levels of the field is something that would fit and fill out this room very nicely. I think that he would be a great add um, and one of the premier guys that you could get in the second round. He adds, Sam adds a uh, edge rusher, the kid from South Carolina in the third round, I believe. Um, and then he adds, uh, it was interesting. This mock was, then he added, uh, Zach, Zach Pascal in the seventh round. Now I'm really high on Pascal from Kentucky and I've seen him go as high as the third round. So it's interesting that if he had him in the seventh round, I would have said either guy, whether it be, um, the kid from South Carolina, uh, his name escapes me now, or Zach Pascal or Josh Pascal, pardon me, Zach Pascal. I'm thinking of a wide receiver in uh, Indianapolis. Josh Pascal from Kentucky. Either guy, I think, would be a great add at the edge position. I like doubling up at edge. That makes a lot of sense. He also had Logan Hall going in the fourth round, who is a great fit. I've seen him mocked as high as 44 to the Browns. So I know I, that name has, has been bandied a, bound a, around a lot around the Browns even as high as their very first pick in this draft, which would be at pick 44. So Logan Hall would be a really good fit as an interior uh, piece to that defensive line. He took Kirby Joseph, a free safety, center field type free safety from Illinois uh, in the mid rounds, who is, that's what the Browns need to add. If they go safety, they need to add that center fielder type guy um, so that uh, the guys on the roster, the safeties on the roster, John Johnson, and Grant Delpit can play closer to the line of scrimmage. Uh, that would enable them to do that. So they're looking for that free safety type. Kirby Joseph fits that role. Um, and then they uh, he had them taking a hybrid tight end who's a really, really interesting pick. His name is very uh, hard to pronounce. I'm going to give it a shot anyways, Dave. Shai uh, Gozim Okanaku, Okananku, I think. Uh, he's a hybrid tight end. Looks like uh, the size of a uh, um, wide receiver type, but uh, they have him listed as a tight end and somebody that would fit well. And I think that Stefanski could get really creative with in his offense. You know how he likes his tight ends. Yeah, I'm with you. And, and again, um, Sam, who was on the show Friday, actually, uh, I, I love the. Uh, I love more. I like getting a couple of linemen that you need. The center fielder. It's. I mean, if. If that plays out that way, I think the Browns would be pretty happy if, if those guys are, are ones they can bring in.